I think what would be a good way to start, we heard an hour and a half of substantive, detailed explanations uh, from the advisors to the campaigns about education policies, but as we chatted afterwards, the five of us, we've noted that there were several things left unsaid. I think, I think that uh, both Lisa and Linda did a, a fine job representing their candidates in, a, in the midst of a campaign that has paid very little attention to education. But I agree with Lucy. I mean, the one issue that has really been underserved in this campaign has been no child left behind. And, I, and that's important for two reasons. It's the one thing that the next president will definitely have to respond to. It, 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 the legislation was up a year ago, and something has to be done. Um, and it's, it's also a law that, in addition to trying to help uh, the country fare better uh, on a world scene, it, it brings us back to a question that began with the original ESEA legislation and that is this, this gap in learning that exists uh, in this country that's defined largely by race and is more pro pronounced in American cities where a disproportionate number of the students are, are either African American or Latino. Um, I don't think it's an accident that it's being avoided either because there's a lot of ambivalence in the country about no child left behind. People seem to like standards, but they're not crazy about testing. And it's hard to separate them. Uh, there's also an ambivalence in the two parties that will have to come to terms with this in a legislative sense. Um, I, I think there are particular questions that I think have to be confronted. And I'll just mention them as questions at this point, and then maybe we can take them further. Um, no Child Left Behind uh, requires the states to come up with uh, both standards and tests with the expectation that the federal government will come in as an enforcement arm uh, when, when school districts and, and are, are seen as not meeting the standards that they set. Um, the state standards are very uneven in this country. I think Lisa did mention that. Um, and it raises a question that, that was asked as a question here, but um, has not been dealt with in the, in the campaign very much. Should we have national tests and standards? And perhaps reverse the order and have the, the federal government set, state stand, set standards and have a national test and have the states move to, um, uh, to enforcement of, uh, of these standards. Um, there, there are a number of other issues I could, I could mention, but I rather than monopolize this, let me let me. Let we're going to turn to No Child Left Behind later and okay. I invite you to bring those up there. Gene. I guess I kind of agree and disagree. First of all, I thought it was a good, robust discussion. Uh, it was not particularly a new discussion. The issues have been out there for quite a while. There are sort of variations on the approaches, but I think all the, the typical kinds of issues were tossed about, and I think the two sides are pretty well understood going in. On No Child Left Behind, I think the issue would be that they talked a lot of it, but not about it. They talked about teacher quality, that's No Child Left Behind. They talked about assessments and standards and accountability and AYP and choice. They did not mention supplemental educational services, which is an important part of the law, at least uh, initially as understood. So I think you're right, they talked oh, of the issues embraced in No Child Left Behind, not No Child Left Behind itself. And politically, that makes sense for both of them. Because, as you pointed out, Joe, politically, it's a tough issue. It was a bipartisan consensus, perhaps the only bipartisan thing to happen during the last eight years. Um, you had strong Democratic ownership of it and strong Republican ownership of it, and both parties are running away from it a bit, too. So politically, I can understand why neither candidate's spokesperson this evening had a full throttle endorsement of NCLB. But certainly, I think they talked about the issues embraced in it. <laughs> 